Hey everybody, it's Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. Thank you for joining me today for this in-depth look at the Red Rock Micro Micro Remote Wireless Follow Focus. I want to particularly focus on some of the features that have come out of version 4 of the firmware upgrade, as well as the ecosystem that Red Rock Micro has built around this product. A wireless follow focus system is really an excellent addition to any videographer or filmmaker's repertoire. Okay, let's talk about what the system consists of. The micro remote follow focus system is a handheld wireless controller, a base station, and a torque motor. You can also forego that handheld wireless controller and just use a base station, torque motor, and a finger wheel. The handheld unit feels excellent in the hand. It is extremely well built. It has a nice rubber dial on it. It has hard stops. The base station is really what powers the torque motor. It also is where you can easily hook up a thumb wheel so that you can use the thumb wheel instead or in addition to the handheld unit. And you can also plug in accessories like a start and stop cable so that you can start and stop the camera from the handheld wireless unit, which is awesome. The handheld unit is run on two AA batteries. They last a couple days uh, if you're shooting all day with them. And you can set different channels for wireless frequency. So the hand unit has hard stops, which is an excellent feature. You can either set the in and out point of your lens using it so you always know where you are, or you can use it to set multiple focus points. So it's up to you how you want to use it. I liked using the hard stops. And the cool thing is the indicator at the top of the dial can also be moved. Racking focus between two different objects is extremely easy and is buttery smooth with this follow focus unit. The system can be rigged up in multiple ways. The base station you can mount anywhere on your camera. It has quarter 20 at the back of it. I liked using their 15 millimeter micro mount. I just uh, screwed that into the back of their base station and then mounted it on my 15 millimeter rods. You can also use that to mount on the top of a rhino mount that we'll talk about later. The torque motor comes with a 15 millimeter or 19 millimeter studio rod setup for mounting to your lens. You can also use the micro mount to mount to one of their rhino mounts. I was extremely impressed with the build of the rhino mount. It's exceptionally solid. It's one piece. It doesn't shift around. It locks under your camera really tightly and really is made for any small camera rig setup. Shooting handheld, shooting on a gimbal. You can imagine how not having to mount it from 15 millimeter rods on a base plate below really frees up this system. Red Rock Micro makes these really awesome flex cables. All of their cables are labeled. The base station can be run off of a DTAP battery running from an Anton Bauer or V-mount. And now with a new upgrade, you can actually power that base station from a standard LPE6 Canon battery, which is awesome for even smaller rigs. Having everything mounted from the top also makes changing lenses extremely quick. Just imagine any camera that you own using this quick and easy setup. Okay, let's talk about the functions. You have a choice, you can hit the auto button on the base station, and if you have a lens with hard stops, it will roll between the two and find those endpoints. If you're using at least version four of this firmware update, you're gonna notice that you can also use the base station now to auto calibrate your lens, which is brilliant. Hit camera direction and you can just start using it right away. If your battery power is running low and you want to change out the battery power, just hit the set button on the base station and boom, it will remember the last lens that was calibrated so you can change out the power and then continue using the lens right away. You may want to change the direction of your focus pull. So that's easy to do too. You just hold the direction button and then you are racking focus clockwise or hit the direction again and you are racking focus counterclockwise. So this is a great feature. If you hit the camera button and you have a flex cable running to your camera, 
you can also start and stop record your camera using the handheld unit. Again, kind of brilliant. Version 4 also allows you to calibrate a lens that doesn't have those hard stop endpoints on it using the hand unit or the finger wheel. All you do is you hit calibrate on the base station and then you turn either the finger wheel or the hand unit to the left and then you hit set on the base station and then you turn it to the right, hit set and you are set up. This is a great option. Red Rock Micro has a finger wheel that is really the most amazing accessory to this wireless follow focus unit in my mind because you can mount it anywhere. You can mount it to one of their handles. They also have a universal clamp that you can mount it to. And this clamp can be really mounted to anything. I have it here on a Zacuto recoil rig mounted next to my handle. The clamp can be mounted to a slider or a crane. I have it here mounted to um, the Cinevate Doozy version 3 slider with the grip reacher on it. From the bottom of the unit, I can pull focus. Being able to add a finger wheel to a cage is brilliant because I don't have to move my hand to the front and try and pull focus that way. I can just do it from where my hand is already in place. Any sort of rig you can really think of, you can mount this finger wheel and that's what makes this piece of kit so badass. One of the cool features about this wireless follow focus hand wheel, when you have uh, leftover gel bracelets from going to a rave, you can insert them into the hand wheel. So if you're shooting on a darker set, you can actually see your focus marks on the hand wheel. I mean, how cool is that? If you haven't tried this wireless follow focus system, I think you might be missing out. And if you have tried it prior to version four, I suggest you take another look. As an indie filmmaker and as a commercial videographer, I could see myself using a system like this all the time. If you like these kind of reviews, please subscribe to my channel, leave the comments below, and of course, I will see you in the next review.